Hey, what's up? Coach Brian Klopacki here at CriticalBench.com, and I'm coming at you with a lot of information on plyometric box workouts, drills, exercises, you name it. I hope to cover it all within this video. So before we actually get into some exercises, there's a, some uh, very important things that you need to know when it comes to plyometric box activity. One is that as a strength coach, I've been doing this and training athletes for about 15 years now, that I use plyometric activity not for conditioning, I use it for strength and power. Now what I mean by that is you wanna be intentional, you wanna be slow and controlled, but also create a lot of power and speed. So you don't wanna be doing these as gassers or finishers of your workout. You wanna be doing these when you're fresh. So in, in other words, you wanna be able to get the most out of your muscle in order to increase your speed, strength, and power. So hopefully that, uh, that that you learned something right then and there because I see far too often now a lot of gyms and a lot of people are just posting videos on HIT training on plyometric activity using exercises that could become dangerous if you're not doing them properly. So as a strength coach and also a functional movement specialist, I try to look at each situation, for instance, like a plyometric box drill or box jump and use it and see how it was designed and the, uh, the purpose of it. Now that doesn't mean you can't get a good cardio workout because there are some exercises you can use for a cardio set and also get some anaerobic conditioning in there, in there as well. But for the general population, you want to be able to take your time going through the box uh, exercises properly. Another reason why you want to go slow and controlled is that since you are moving at a maximal effort, you have a, a greater chance of injuring yourself by pulling a muscle, tripping and falling, which is actually a hazard. I've seen a lot of kids or a lot of uh, inexperienced people trip on a box because one, they're either fatigued or two, they're just they're just doing it incorrectly. So people, you know, take this exercise very lightly, but in reality, it's a it's a dangerous advanced exercise. So let's go over to my box. Um, I'm gonna be going through just some basic drills first on how to set up going into the jump before you actually start jumping. So I've got my box here behind me. Uh, this one is pretty standard. You can flip it on all different directions to get different heights. But the main thing is you wanna make sure that you're starting light. And again, I'm warmed up. I'm, I'm getting ready to do this. I'm not fatigued. I'm not gassed. I'm not winded. I'm ready to do this. Now let's say I knock out a couple jumps at this height and it's too easy. What I'll do is, usually the, most gyms will have different types of boxes, you know, a, a six inch, a 12 inch, 24, 30, whatever it is. You can stack boxes if they're built for that. This one you can actually just flip on its side or on its end and get a higher, uh, a, a higher uh, range. But the main thing is you want to start low first, build up the strength, build up the comfortability to actually get on top of the box without causing any danger. So before we even jump, you got to square up the feet. Again, I'm warmed up, I'm ready to go. So what I want to do is get at least a foot and a half behind the box, good, wide, powerful stance. I'm in an athletic stance now. I'm going to be doing something called a counter movement swing with my arm. I drive the arms back and as I'm ready to launch up, I'm going to drive my arms forward because I get about 30% strength and power coming from those arms. So when I land, I'm going to land firm and soft on that box. Once I land, I'm going to stand up, step down. Now you don't want to jump down like a lot of fools do because I put such un unnecessary strain and stress on those knees that there's no point. You're actually negating the benefit of doing that exercise because it's, it's just a harmful way to, to dismount that. So take your time step down and then reset okay so here's a traditional basic box jump step down reset okay now i take my time with that and you should too now there's a couple other exercises that we will go into in just a moment but uh when you're doing drills whatever drills you might use on your own. And we've got a whole bunch of drills that you're about to see in the next coming uh, minutes. And whatever that is, the situation still needs to be treated with control, time, and also just uh, uh, just control. You have to control the situation, have to know what you're doing. So get a pen and paper ready. I'm going to be throwing a bunch of different drills at you that you can include into your plyometric box workout.
So another great thing you can use with the box in addition to these exercises you just saw are the step ups. Now step ups, I treat these as a uh, strengthening exercise. Uh, just pretend like this is just a normal strength workout. You can be using this on a bench, on a, a step, whatever. Uh, but a step up is you're actually stepping up onto the box. So what now what I'm doing is what I teach my athletes and clients, I want to be, I want them to be using more of their front leg rather than the rear. What I mean by that, they're going to shift their weight forward and then press up. And then they're gonna lower themselves down slowly back to their starting position, shift their weight forward. So what I'm doing now is focusing on that front, inter uh, front lower part of that quad and also my glute. I'm not pushing off that back leg. All the work's coming from that top. So that's a great way to do the step ups. Now here's a couple of variations of the step ups that you can be doing um, on your own. But the main thing again, still applies is control your, uh, your repetition, maintain form, and just have fun doing it.
Okay, so we're, we're showing you a lot of content already, but now let's get into a, a couple of different types of workouts. Now you can apply all the exercises you just saw and also some exercises you're gonna about to see in any format that you want. These will, this can create a cardiovascular type of set. Now yeah, I said in the beginning, block, box drills aren't made for conditioning. However, if you treat it properly, if you take your time and apply the drills and the principles that I told you to apply, you'll be safe to do these on your own. So I've got a five minute AMRAP that you're gonna be doing three exercises. You've got your basic box jump, you've got 10 plyometric push-ups, and you've got 20 mountain climbers. So you'll set your timer for five minutes, knock out these three exercises, as many rounds as you can, um, and then have fun with it. I guarantee you're gonna be huffing and puffing after this. I know I will be, and uh, have fun doing it. And I know you'll rest a couple minutes on the other side, and then we will pick up again and carry on to something else. So get ready. This is a five minute AMRAP that you're gonna be doing on your own. Here we go.
All right, there you go. I know you're, you're huffing and puffing. Uh, if you need an extra minute, that's fine. While you're resting, I'm going to still try to catch my breath. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some other exercises uh, of the plyometric box stuff that you can be doing for cardiovascular work. Yeah, what you just saw was a five-minute interrupt. That's a, definitely a lot of uh, hit training, high-intensity interval training. So, yeah, hit, teeth, whatever. That's some hit for you. Some other cardiovascular exercises are the exercises that are pretty dynamic. You're just doing a quick movements, uh, explosive step ups. That's these right here. You know, a couple of those. And if you want to go to rapid fire, those are great exercises to get that aerobic capacity up and running. Oh, I just did a couple more, my heart rate just spiked again. Um, so again, a lot of stuff that we covered, a lot of uh, videos and exercises you just saw, and I know you might be a little overwhelmed, but I, I, I recommend watching this video a second time, getting down uh, a couple of different exercises, write them down, apply them to your workout. If you're unfamiliar with certain stuff, I can't recommend enough, take your time, learn the movement, and then incorporate it into your workout. So you might need to go into a corner of a gym, practice these exercises, Whatever it looks like for you, you know your own body, you know your own limitations, but I guarantee if you work at these, you stay with it, you keep pushing yourself, you're gonna see some great gains. Now there's other something else that you're gonna find helpful in getting those gains. It's a report that we wrote, it's called the 10 best body weight exercises of all times. You definitely gotta check out this report if you wanna incorporate some body weight movements into your routine. In order to get it, you gotta click this box right here. Click it, give us your email, We'll send you a copy of the free report right away. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click this, but what you can do to get it, there's a little arrow under this video here. Click that, it's gonna open up the video description area. You'll see a link at the top, criticalbench.com slash bodyweight. Click that, give us your email, and we'll punch you uh, that report right away. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos. We've got, a, we've got a lot of videos that I know you're gonna find helpful. Like us, share us. Uh, feedback. Love to get some feedback from you all. Comments, suggestions, whatever it is, interact with us. We check our page on a daily basis, so we will respond to you as soon as we can. Appreciate you watching again. Have fun doing these. Be careful, and we'll see you soon. See ya. Bye.